What's driving the new race to the moon? Major powers like the US, China, Japan, and the EU have all been probing the moon over recent years. A Japanese lunar landing failed last year, and an Israeli mission failed in 2019. There's been a focus on the South Pole, where no country has been able to reach yet. Rough terrain makes landing difficult, but the prize could be historic. Ice that could be used to extract fuel, oxygen, and drinking water. Russia and India are racing to get there first. Yeah, Russia's aspirations towards the moon are mixed up in a lot of different things. I think Asaf Siddiqui is a professor of history at Fordham University. There's always been speculation that there's water on the moon. And that's important if you if you want to build permanent settlements on the moon. So I think what Russia is trying to do is really spearhead that investigation and like be at the forefront of it. So this the fact that they're exploring the South Pole isn't an accident. Astronomers have wondered about water on the moon for centuries, which is a hundred times drier than the Sahara Desert. It was only in 2020 that NASA confirmed the existence of water there. India sent up its Chandrayaan-3 lunar lander last month after the Chandrayaan-2 failed in 2019. But Russia may also have political ambitions behind its space missions, especially as it faces sanctions from the West over the war in Ukraine. First and foremost, it's an expression of national uh, power on the global stage. Russia wants to go to the moon partly to assert its national place on the with the big big guys, so to speak. China has already announced plans to return humans to the moon. The U.S. has a major prog- program called Artemis that it is uh, in, in the middle of. So there's a lot of act- activity going on. Uh, Russia, because it lacks the economic power of the United States, has allied with China. So it's possible that what the Chinese do, the Russians may actually piggyback on top of that. Um, in the next 10, 15 years.